<laughs> hey, what's up, YouTube? We're here with Ed Eception, and uh, we're going to do a deck profile from uh, YCS yeah. Vegas. You got top 16. Yeah. This we're at MTG Deals. So, go ahead. Uh, yeah. All right, so, I play six of the standard ones. Like, he's really good because uh, you don't get OTK and you get to interrupt your opponent's plays with like Karaz. And he's good in the mirror. And this is like the best card to summon turn one. And it's your main win condition. And uh, I think this is like the be next best monarch gets Karaz. Like, uh, it unbricks you and it lets uh, you disrupt your opponent. Like, when they have uh, Archfiend Eccentric, you can summon an Aether to summon a Karaz to pop it. And then you can probably protect your lock. Uh, I played the Thestals for the event. But I cut it for uh, a third crash in my in my next build of my deck. But like this also is really good. Like when you open up nuts, like you uh, reasoning and you hit uh, an idea, then you can double like uh, monarch them like a Rubus and then summon Thestalos. Uh, I only played two idea because this card's often dead. Like if you draw any of the dark dudes, like it's one less. And honestly, all you need is one. So like if you summon it and uh, it resolves, then every next one is going to resolve, and you're going to thin out your deck a lot. Play three Eidos because he's like necessary evil. I think he's better because he, he at least lets you summon the monarch. Uh, and I play three of this card. I think this is the best. Uh, the main reason why I won a lot of my matches because uh, this card plays around strike. And that's the main way you lose. A lot of people play uh, Scolding, though. You know Stop the Sons on the Monarch. So maybe this card might be not as good if everyone just plays Scolding. Uh, play three Fantheism. If you draw this card and it resolves, you most likely win because you get a free plus one. Uh, Stormforth, the main way you beat Cosmo. And it like helps you break established boards. Uh, three, Pepe doesn't get to play. It's like the best card. It's good in every matchup. Like. Conserving your resources, only tricking yeah, one monster instead of two is like really good. And like killing big ships because uh, it's bigger than everything else is really good. Uh, three tenacity, it lets you switch any card in your deck. Uh, three upstart because consistency is key. Uh, two chicken game because consistency is key. I don't want to play three because if I activate two uh, chicken games and they break my setup, it's really easy to kill me at 6,000. And with chicken games in Karaz, you can pop your own Karaz, uh, you can pop your own chicken game for like a plus one, so you can like draw Karaz and draw again. Uh, two reasoning, this is like, I guess like the weird part of my deck. Like it's, uh, I played this over, this was originally a one for one and a foolish. But like this card adds a lot of versatility to the deck. Like, uh, like if they have floods, you can reasoning into a, uh, Reasoning into a uh, cross to pop the floodgates, and if you uh, basically it just lets you summon more monsters, like to kill your opponent or just to start off. And milling pantheism is like super busted. Then I play one uh, escalation because uh, playing on your opponent's turn is really broken. And I play three spellbook of tower. It's like <laughs> like uh, every deck against every deck except for like Pepe because Pepe you just lock them out. Uh, you literally just draw an extra card every turn and win the game like that. And this stops you do from dying all the time. Uh, extra deck, I, yeah, I play one Vegeta. One Vegeta. Uh, so I played three Twin Twister. Uh, I never lost the Masquerade Strike because I always drew it. And yeah. Lucky man. <laughs> yeah, it's super broken. Uh, I played uh, two Curse Seal. This is for the mirror match. If you hit Storm Fourth, you automatically win the game because. Stormfoy is literally the best card in the mirror. Uh, I played two breakthrough I, I for the mirror because hitting um, hitting Aether on your turn is really broken. Hitting like something on their turn is really good. It's like T to Cree. I feel like I should have played three. The Cree was so good because everyone cited a uh, magical deflector against me, and like they, they, they can have like five floodgates, but if I flip the Cree, it uh, doesn't really matter. It's if they're traps. Uh, two effect failure only against the mirror. <laughs> Uh, I, I never drew this, this card. I never played the FDK deck, so it was really pointless. But it's, it's kind of good against Pepe because you, you can uh, stop them from going off turn one, and then like, it's really good with Karaz. So like you can do this when they go like monkey board, and then you can eat it on their turn and Karaz two cards, destroy them, and then they don't get a draw because draw a lock card. And two Ghost Dugger. This is like the main reason why I beat every Pepe. Like they, they if they make Nap Beast, it outs it, and then if they uh, if they don't have monkey board, like the deck sucks. Oh, do you have anything on Sunday? Yeah, so that was my deck. All right, Ed, thanks a lot. And I hope to see you well, do well at future events.